Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome to another edition of the Open Gym Podcast, episode 10. It's your boy, A.B., man, and I got a very special guest with me today. My guy, the the, the brand ambassador, the the, the the influencer, the content creator, uh, uh, DJ, on-air personality of 100.3 uh R and B and hip hop, man, the one and only boy stop. He ain't no DJ, DJ A Boogie in the yes, building. Man. What's good, bro? Hey, yeah, man, I'm chilling, man, chilling, man. I'm, I'm uh, it's a pleasure uh, uh, for you being here today, man. I appreciate you uh, stepping in the gym today, man. We got a lot to talk about, man. A lot of different things um, I want to talk to you about for sure. Uh, just off the back, man. Obviously, we here down at. Um, we down at Stocked Up store mm-hmm. in Philadelphia on German 5231 Germantown Avenue, man. All the great stuff. Uh, all urban apparel that you need. Hats, mm-hmm. hoodies, uh, shoes, everything, man. Shirts, everything, man. Make sure y'all y'all go follow uh, my man Nah, man. Or at Stocked Up 15 right now. Y'all see it on the screen, man. Click the link in the bio. Uh, whatever you need, everything is going. that's here. Mm-hmm. It's going to be within there, man, for sure. If, if you got your camera, scan the QR code that leads you to the link. It'll get you everything you need to know what I'm going on and everything that's going on with this podcast, man. But for sure, man, we got DJ A Boogie in the building mm-hmm. today, man. What's going on, man? How you doing, man? Oh, man, all vibes, man. All good all energy, right. all good yeah. positivity. That's what I like to hear, man. I appreciate you stepping in here with me. Um, like I said, we just going to dive right into it, man. Just just off the bat, one question. Uh DJ A Boogie, uh, who is DJ A Boogie, uh, and 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 what what influences DJ A Boogie, uh, to to get to where he's been today and and who he is today, essentially like that. Um, DJ A Boogie, basically, you know what I'm saying. Uh, it comes. The short story is my brother nicknamed me J A Boogie off the movie Paid in Full. Yeah. Um, you know, throwing parties back in the day, kind of Mitch. <laughs> Money into, making. Yeah, like I was calling him Mitch. He was calling me A Boogie. Um, but, you know, uh, throwing parties back in the day, transition and, you know, um, utilizing parties to actually, you know, um, you know, create a living and start building, you know, some type of, you know, name um, for myself. So nightlife became like something that I was doing and, okay. and just wrap my arms around and embrace it. And um, DJ Boogie is just a product of, you know, what it is to just kind of continuously, relentlessly chase a goal. Okay. You know what I mean? Just going, never stop, never settling, and just always just seeing like you know where we can end up next. But I was, I would say like you know, trendsetter or or you know, a uh, disruptor in some cases. You know, uh, just always looking for opportunities to do something different. Um, and I seen early on, you know that you know, um, Atlanta and that Southern you know movement was really driving what people knew as you know the club music the club okay. life, the bangers the yeah. trap music the the what you want to hear when you went in you know the a-list parties with the celebrities for the most part um and we weren't we weren't getting that that vibe up north because we were just so disconnected yeah like the music worlds were just so disconnected so um early on i was trying to bridge the gap and just be that person that you know streamlined like a lot of what was you know popular and what was pushing the culture forward um, I wanted to streamline and get that into, you know, our market. Um, and that started with just dropping early hits from Future. You okay. know, when Future yeah. was first coming, coming out. Coming out, yeah, and yeah. It, it started with that and then, you know, kind of just kept going forward. I I mean, I feel like that's, you you right though, because it was, like I said, it was a time where it was like East Coast, like you had rappers and stuff like that, but it wasn't really banging like it, went, like it, like it was supposed to. And like you said, yeah. when I'm down South, Started really, they was always there, but they 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 it made a comeback heavy, like you said, with with the futures and then you know oh, yeah, uh, sure. uh, uh, thug and that one started coming out they like that. Like so, it's like uh, uh, man, Eagles, all the list goes Gunner, on. Two <laughs> chains. Uh, you want me to Jesus, They they were just hitting you back to back, low, bang bang. <laughs> Twenty one savage, <laughs> like it don't stop. Facts, facts. You know what I mean? It facts. don't stop. Like you could keep Gucci, man. You could keep going, 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 going. Mm-hmm. They, they, they have the people uh, don't want to accept it, but the the South did make a a major impact in music, I believe for, for sure. sure. Especially in today's music, like you said. Every region, every region had their moment. You know, hip hop sure. started in the north, and then you got you know the influence on the west coast. And yeah, then, right. you know, Out of nowhere, then you got the dirty south. 
<laughs> Long yeah, t-shirts. Man, and, and that in kind of the dirty South was just encompassing everything from, you know, um, Miami, New Orleans, Atlanta, you know, Texas. Like, it was all kind of, you know, in that, in that area. So, it's not uncommon for them to, you know, come as hard as they was coming, you know, in terms of the influence and the momentum that they had behind them. So it just was like, for me early on, I'm like, look, all I got to do is put myself in the way of that. That's that's it. That's it. Figure the rest out. That's it. (laughs) That's where we went with it. I know, like you said, you've been doing a lot when it came to uh, the city and everything, really, really putting it on the map, really uh, stamping yourself within this, within this city. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, not it, it was a lot of DJs that w- that was within this city. Uh, they they've been around for a little bit, but they they kind of you don't see them as much anymore. And just me being your friend as well, I do. I am like I be looking up like everywhere I look, it's a flyer. It's like DJ Boogie. I'm like, oh, all right, all right, now he in Texas. All right, now he in <laughs> now he in Alaska, and Iceland. I'm like, yo, this, this boy everywhere DJ. Like it's crazy. And, and 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 then recently, uh, this past, uh, just recently, I see you was on tour with uh, Maury. Mm-hmm. Maury, uh, mm-hmm. I mean, uh, how, how'd that come about? How'd you become the DJ uh, from Philadelphia? We from like North Carolina or something mm-hmm. like that. Like it's like not from up here. How'd you right. link up with with him and, and and be able to do that for sure? Um, that was just you know the share story again. Just right place, right time. time okay. Um, you know, someone called me while he was looking for a DJ to fill in for Made in America. Okay. And when I got the call, it just was like, oh, this is what I want. So, you know, let me try and learn, <laughs> you know, as much as I can in the amount of time I can. And we went from there. And first time he met me, he was just like. I, that's, that's what I was about to say. for like That let you know the influence in the, that you have. Because like you said, just on a whim like that, Made of America, uh, get you get you get a call. Go in there, you do that, kill it, and then he turns around and be like, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> just, just keep yeah, coming like with me, dude, like. Man. I like this dude. dude that, that's my DJ right there. And you, and you gotta think at the time he was like he was popping, like he was. I mean, he still, but like he was like popping. You know, the song, the singles just quick came. Standard, he quick yeah. all that, like, and like he could have chose. Well, any and uh, anybody for sure, and then for that moment to happen and you to be stuck, uh, stuck by him after that, man, that, I feel like that's dope. And when you talk about touring with him, with, with how many uh, how many cities did y'all do? How how long uh, was you out there? I think we did nineteen cities. Nineteen cities, 19 okay. Cities. Where, where was your where was your favorite? Where where was your if you if you had this say, <laughs> on all your travels, it ain't even got to be with him, but it can be with him or just DJing yeah. in, in general. What are your uh your your favorite? What's your favorite? City, state, country, wherever you was at, that you like. All right, this this was this was crazy. <laughs> um, oh man, uh, my favorite experience. I give you two. You know, my favorite experience with Moray. Um, my favorite experience with Moray was uh, you know either Boston, okay, or Detroit. Detroit, Boston, because Detroit. that was the two cities that I think we got like. Just the best response. Okay, okay. For us just being, you know, the the you know, the supporting acts on a J. Cole tour. Yeah. Um, though they just gave us like endless love, you know, not saying my own hometown Philly didn't show yeah, up. No, nah, yeah. I'm just thinking from like start to finish. The moment like they heard a sound, they just were you know, <laughs> they were there, they was tapped like, in. You know, like, what they call it, electrifying. <laughs> you know, it was Wow. Yeah, you okay. felt that, job. Y'all you here. felt that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's that's what's up. Any any you wanna uh here you go. While you was out there, what's what is the like I guess the the weirdest thing or the funniest thing that like that happened while you was on tour when rather it was with y'all or something you seen or like in the city like what was like uh, I guess give us a moment where it was just like either it was crazy or a crazy funny moment or something like that while you was on tour, like Anything out of the ordinary or something that was just like crazy to you that happened while you was out there for sure? Um, I mean, you know, no tour is complete without a tour bus breaking down. <laughs> you know, I told this story before, but yeah, like, you know, the tour bus went down and it was kind of like pack whatever you can in one bag. <laughs> Let, let's keep moving. <laughs> The show must go on. Oh, you know? my. Where was I heading? Uh, we was heading to Boston. Oh, man. So I, did the, I did the show in Boston in, like, a hoodie and some ball shirts. <laughs> um, and, you know, it was just, it was it was like, damn, okay. 
All right, you know, this, yeah. is, what, this is what the game the, calls exactly. for at times. Th- like, things know, happen know. all the time where it's just like, listen, like you said, the show must go on sure. regardless. Like you said, if I'm in ball shorts and, and slides, hey, man, listen. I remember, I remember being in, this, in, the, in the arena and, um, you know, because we had gone through so much to get there, we didn't get a chance to get dressed. So after the show, you know, after you sweat and everything like that, you finally shower. And I think I just remember looking around like, I'm showering in the arena. <laughs> That's like, how well, This is the life that I want. Yeah, like, yeah. This is where I'm at, you know, and I'm just like, yo, oh well. If I got a shower in the arena. I got a shower, shower in the arena. arena. You know what I mean? Like, there's a lobby call. Is that another, you know what I mean? Another hour. The yeah. bus is pulling out to go to the next show. If you want to shower, just. Got to do what you got to do, do right then and there. right then and there before we leave. It's like. As much as you want to kind of be like, oh, man, I'm in an arena. It's like, yo, these were NBA players. Bro. I was just about to say that. You got to imagine, like, whatever arena you was in, NBA players. There's millionaires in this joint, too. Exactly. So like, right. Exactly. But whatever behind you, we in an arena. <laughs> right. Where are we going to next? As long as I got, a, a, you know, my, my bunk on the bed is... is is available and accessible to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> arena, arena shower. Bucket, it is. <laughs> That's funny. So uh, you said arenas. Mm-hmm. What was your What was your uh, favorite arena that you visited? So because I, I know you, like you said, you hit some NBA joints for sure. So like, what was yeah, your favorite? Yeah, it was between Boston and Detroit. Okay. Yeah, okay. That was okay. My favorite, favorite two arenas. Okay. Pistons and uh, 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 the Celtics. Celtics. Okay. Ah, uh, Celtics. Uh, whatever. But. <laughs> We gonna continue speaking of that as well. Mm-hmm. We are gonna flip it over just a little bit, like you said. You speaking of arenas, uh, NBA All Star Weekend just passed not so long ago. Right. Um, just looking out there, I seen that you was down there. You was doing events down there. Uh, a lot of stars and Shaq was in the building. Yeah. Everything like like like. T- what was that? Like what was going on with that? I mean, um, which your sponsor was that? Uh, Hennessy that you got yeah, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So um, Team Hennessy, you know, we were all you know in in Cleveland. Uh, supporting my boy Steph Floss for uh, All Star Weekend. Okay. Um, and you know, with Hennessy being the official spirit of the NBA, it was an opportunity for us to you know partner up with different people that were curating events in the okay. market. Okay. And just kind of like do some some dope things, you know. Um, and with all of us together, with the whole team there, you know, you got dang there every every major city accounted for. So it's like you know if 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 AG and and Headliner World are doing an event, we got somebody that's you know directly used to you know or directly has a relationship with AG or okay you know if 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 we want to do you know an exclusive an exclusive VIP event you know at Lost where they're a real real you know cosmetic on the door who's who that comes in and then you end up with you know Machine Gun Kelly, Megan mm. Fox, and yeah, yeah, you know uh, Shaq ends up walking in, yeah. Travis Kelsey, yeah, I, I, just, I like, seen it. I was like, Whoa. looking at the mix of people, like who, what, like the crowd is just so diverse. Yeah, if I say you just named three different people that's just like in three what? different realms of, of like Shaq. Travis Kelsey and Machine Gun Kelly, yeah. like what? Not to mention Megan, <laughs> Megan Fox. Fox, right next to him, exactly yeah. like that, like what? There's a lot going on with Baron Davis. <laughs> Baron, Baron, yeah, Davis. I seen that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It was just like it was just a lot going on, you know, and it was really, really a good time, you know, for us to just celebrate each other, celebrate, you know, the win for finally being outside and actually enjoying yeah. some yeah. of the fruits yeah. of what it is. Yeah, to you know, be in a partnership with the NBA, so. I mean, how how was that? How that you know, if you don't mind divulging, how how that come along when you like you said, I mean that's a big thing. You talking about this is the official spirit yeah. of a whole organization such as the NBA. Like how'd you get involved with something like that? The Sixers and uh Hennessy. Well, it was, you know, more of an initiative, you know, through Hennessy. So that okay. was something that they already, you know, were working on. It didn't necessarily come from my team. Okay. Um. And but the directive, you know, came down. You know that we were, we would like to be, you know, in the arenas. We would like to be, you know, in in good spirits with the people that represent, yeah. you know, yeah. our, our team deals. Um. So they don't have team deals with every single team in it. In the, uh, okay. NBA. But there is, you know, select markets where they have a deal, and Philly was one of those markets where I was kind of like. Wow. Well, we going to take this opportunity that's in front of us and we going to make it work. Yeah, like one like, way or another. <laughs> that's that's, that's kind of crazy. Like you said, that's I feel like another just in general another right place right time. Like you said, Philadelphia in general was just one of the markets mm-hmm. that they even, you know, partner with. Yeah. So that that's that's even crazy. And I let you know that's a testament 
to the work that you that you put in, like right, like you said, through over the years, because the simple fact that you can partner with uh, two companies, not right. even not even just one, like Hennessy and the NBA, essentially like that, right. uh, is is dope in itself. Right. Um. I mean, we we gonna we gonna keep keep going. Like you said, we going This is a sports show. You are mm-hmm. you are at the open jump. That's cool. Uh, like I said, it's just a lot going on in sports. And you know, like you said, we had the uh, NBA trade deadline that went past, NBA the All Star game that went past. You know, we're down to the nitty gritty, man. It's about mm-hmm. what twelve games, eleven games left. I know the Sixers played the night, played the Lakers. I mean, but it's like oh, that is that's that, the night. <laughs> that's oh. at ten. That's at ten. We good. We that's got a couple awesome. hours. Okay, okay. <laughs> we got a couple hours. That's okay. at ten. Okay. That's a West Coast game. They all did. So you know how that goes. Got now I'm back alive. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> I thought I was losing. Okay. <laughs> no, you good. Uh, well, how do I feel about that? That's yeah, I mean so overall, cool. like let's let's start here. Let's get the. Since we in Philly, let's get the proverbial monkey on our back and get this out the way. I like to ask this regardless to anybody. When it comes to the trade, mm-hmm. Ben Simmons, James Harden, you being a Philadelphia fan, what's, what's your thoughts on it? Should, should we have did it? Should we not have did it? And then do you think it's going to work? Um, yeah, I definitely think we, we should have. Um, for the simple fact that I'm looking at the, the entire picture, mm. um, which is like the city overall. Um, and the last time we had this much energy and this much yeah, excitement yeah. and, you know, one of our franchise players, you know, was... Of course, we all know uh, Bubba Chuck, baby. Hey, hey, I, yeah, baby. That's, that's like, like, this was the last time we yeah. had somebody that everybody was like, yo, he's he dresses like, uh, you know, the individuals we like. Yeah, he, he looks yeah, the part. Yeah. He has the swag. He's putting up the numbers. Uh, he has the championship DNA to be able to compete. Um, so it's like these are the things that make somebody love, you know, a yeah. Philadelphia representative. Like it's not one of the cities where it's kind of like, oh, it's nice. <laughs> he's, he's a great role player. Like a, like, like a no. OKC. It's a, like you yeah, know, know, this Philly. Like if you got doesn't want nice. Yes. They want to win. <laughs> Exactly. That's what Philly Go was. get me James Harden, Go. Bob Vincent. That's Simmons. all we need. That's all we need. I'm you with know. you, though. I agree with that aspect. And it was crazy. I think it was like the second or third game since he was back. And, you know, they do the little the walk-in intro mm-hmm. drums for the game. And the first two games, he didn't really get dressed. But, like, he felt good about himself. So he came in something crazy. So I'm sitting there like, Hey, we really got a player that really like that's gonna be like we got one of them. Right, like right, we got right. one of them. <laughs> like we, one of them. <laughs> we we ain't got like the regular regular mini might and Joes. Like we really got like a top five, top ten NBA player, for sure, for sure. A top seventy five of all time. You seen that on the list I as guess, well. Yeah, like so, it's yeah. like that. Like you said, Friday night, Saturday nights, Wells Fargo Center. That's for how sure. Philly. I, I know it'd be bonkers in there, John. For Man, sure. listen. For sure. Well, we gonna since we on the sixes and we talking about James and everything, man. Like I said, if you if if not the Sixers and it could be the Sixers, when it comes to the championship, man, who who you got coming out, man? The Sixers, Eastern West. Bro. You, you going you rocking out? You, you, you I'm going a right with it? <laughs> Why would you choose anyone else, right? Why would For I sure, go any other I, I I agree, I agree. So if any if any. I gotta, cause like I said, you touch everything, so I gotta, you know, play devil's advocate. If anybody mm-hmm. you believe could knock us off from getting to our final destination, what team do you think in the Eastern Conference causes us the most problem? Mm. If we was to see him. Like I said, team your top your top teams, us. yeah, your top teams right now is obviously you got the six up there, you got the Heat who we just beat the other night with no Joel Embiid and James Harden. Right. Got the Bucks, obviously. The Nets are at the eighth spot, but still scary because they coming from behind. Um I mean you got the Bulls there, but they've been they've been slacking off and then you got Cleveland. So you know your top five teams that's in the um, top right now. I'ma say I'ma say the the team that gives us the most the team that gives us the most issues, I would arguably assume, is the Bucks. The Bucks, okay. Um, just because of you know the depth that they have on yeah. the bench, yeah. Um, and not to mention like you know arguably you know Giannis and Embiid are gonna go head to head, and they're both gonna be demanding you know to go to the foul line. Um, I just think in terms of stamina. You know, if Embiid has to sit at any point 
And it's like we've seen what Giannis does to us when Embiid is not down the court. court. Yeah, for sure. Of course. So Who's going like, to stop him? <laughs> that's, that's what I worry about. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then it's like, again, you got to worry about the role players that actually are active shooters. So it's like, I mean, you know, still you got what? Just, Drew Holiday there, Chris Middleton yeah, still out there, everything. Man. I mean, that's that's why. Bobby Portis is good to sneak up for some random. Come on, man. Time, you know? <laughs> hey, so. but out of nowhere, he started hitting threes out of nowhere. Like, what the? Yeah, it's, Brooke, it's, uh, uh, what's his name? Brooke Lopez just came back as well. So oh, that's another big gee, age. Lopez. came back from injury. So, I mean, that, I, I agree with you. Like I said, uh, the Bucks definitely caused the problem. But I mean, that's why you go out and get James Harden. Mm-hmm. If Embiid is down, you. Hey man, <laughs> this is I why mean, you here. Him or, or uh, and, Maxi, you know he been he been Maxie ascending. Definitely was you know he was you know hit the ground by hit the ground running, running. Like, trial by fire. Like he didn't ask for this at all, <laughs> and, and excelling. He was forced to grow up fast. Fast. And, and, and people don't even realize that. So for him to be doing what he doing with only his second year in the NBA, where it take literally next five years to even progress into anything, essentially. Mm-hmm. And for him, this second year, not only having to be better, but starting the year off, having to be the starting point guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when he's never played point guard, yeah. he was an off guard even in college at Kentucky. So it's like that that's kind of wild. I mean, but I, I agree. The Bucks definitely uh, uh, a, a team to look out for. And I, I'm not going to sit here and don't run. I, I dislike him right now. I'm not going to disrespect the, uh, the Nets. But they gotta get to us first. They in the, they in the AC. That's that's the biggest thing when it comes to me. But KD should always, always scare you. And then the way Kyrie is playing right now, I, I don't even know Lights what's going on. Man. man, listen, Lights come out. on, man. He's Fifty by the other night, like come on, man. Notice. Gave us hell in the cell when he played this. <laughs> he put the league on notice. Man. Y'all want to sit me out? Y'all, cause I don't want to take a shot. Yeah, take this. <laughs> take all these fifties. Take this fifty ball. <laughs> Easy. Take this 50 ball. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't enough. You know, I gave y'all 40 the other time. <laughs> and take 45. Time, yeah, exactly. Exactly. That That's definitely a team to work about. I mean, I, I'm with you. What, what about the West? Who you got coming out the West? Phoenix. Oh, you so you're going to go with Phoenix? Phoenix. I mean, yeah, man. Listen, they, they're Especially the most complete with team. Chris Paul healthy. Yes. Phoenix. And he probably won't be ready until uh, playoff time. But still, that, that's a lot of experience that's going through him. So it's like... He doesn't need like that warm up, uh, ramp up time. No, like put wasn't me back in that, there. Uh, wasn't it that Devin Booker meme that was going viral? Mm-hmm. And he's like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. dang. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what people, I mean? he, he even said it himself, Devin Booker, when, him getting there, like he's never played with a point guard such as him. Like, you know, he had different people like Ricky Rubio's and stuff like that. Right. But like, right. Chris Paul is a different level of like, they call him the point guard for a reason. Right. Like that, like he changed three different. Tra- he went to OKC, who was supposed to. They had to trade him because they won too many games. Like they was trying to tank, and he brung in, took, brung in, came in and won over forty games that right. year when it was wasn't even supposed to. So I, I, I like that though. Phoenix for sure. Any other team? I think. Let me see the West. I mean, it's a toss up for. I think this year in general, it's about parity because even though we we choosing who we. Think of be there, right? Literally anybody can be there in the chip for sure, man. Uh, anybody can be there in the chip for sure. So, uh, like you said, this is DJ Boogie. Thank you guys for watching this episode, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, open Jump Podcast episode six. Make sure y'all like, share, comment, subscribe, follow the QR code that's on the screen. Just scan that as well, man. That lead you to every link possible that I got going on for all my content. So make sure y'all check that out, man. Um, this boy just here and smiling. <laughs> it's happy to be here. Bro. <laughs> um, so this this is where I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to then. Uh, like I said, DJ Boogie, uh, music, mm-hmm. DJ, uh, influencer, band, brand uh, ambassador, uh, uh, fashion, uh, everything, man. Mm-hmm. You, you tap your hands in. So we, I got a little uh situation here. We gonna pull up on the screens. So you know the NBA is all about the fashion. You're all about the NBA mm-hmm. walking. The intro is getting ready for games Makes and sense. stuff like that for sure. So I'm gonna throw a couple. Well, first of all, I forgot about that. <laughs> uh, you know, since, you know, you you was on tour and everything like that. You know, doing doing oh, doing man. your thing. Uh, you know, you you had to tap in to to 
to, to the NBA uh, intros, if you look up there right there, you know you got oh, your little man. you got your little intro, your little intro yeah, walk in really there right was. there. What's that? Uh, Chicago, you in right was, there for that sure. Was United yeah, City. United City, Chicago, man. So you know you got a you had a couple uh, uh, leads that you, <laughs> you then you get another one. You was in DC oh, for man. sure. <laughs> that wasn't the one you left. You, you had to pack your bags, wasn't? No, no that was no, Boston. No, right, the, right. The, 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 the Chicago one though. That's the me Chicago. With my bag right <laughs> that there. was it. That that's was the bag. Chicago? Chicago, that was me with my overnight bag. Well, yeah, that was for that, whatever you can fit in that bag. That, that, that was it. And that was it. That's I, lit. I mean, my grooming bag on the on the right, my my whatever I could fit on the left. That's how I was rocking. For <laughs> he the said, next "Let's go, years. let's get on that. That's that's lit." So, in spirit yeah, of that, good. I'm gonna throw a couple uh players up here. We just gonna. Rate the fit. Okay. Uh, uh, let me know what you think. And you like this, like it, don't even matter. Tell me, you're going to talk about it. So, first up, we got uh, Jason Tatum, man. Uh, he got a nice little uh, hoodie, shirt, pant. I got you. Uh, combo going on here, man, with the glad. What, what you think? What, you, what would you rate this this fit? One to ten, man. You you rocking that or not? Um, yeah, I would rock that. Yeah, that's how you, that's how you rolling with? Yeah, one to ten? <laughs> yeah. Ten being the hottest? Yeah. I'll give it like a nine. Nine, yeah. I mean, that's swings. I, I like it for sure, though, for sure. Yeah, I, I, the detail I, in the hoodie, they can't see it, you know, until they get closer. Closer, yeah. yeah. People on the, on the screen, they, they can see it. It's, oh, okay. it's close up for sure. Like I said, with the green, like I said, the, the pants for me is what what did it for me, for sure. I, def, I definitely been in the, the pants and the uh, shades. Uh, we got another one right here. Uh, Devin Booker, we were just talking about of the mm-hmm. Phoenix Suns. We he, he got his little L.A. Compton oh, yeah, swag yeah, going yeah. on with the with the pants over the chucks, and the, the 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 three quarters oh, length the, jacket, uh, the burgundy leg day. Look, yeah, <laughs> you yeah. wear the chucks when you're doing leg day in the gym. <laughs> Nah, what, what, with you, you, you but, messing um, with it? This joint is cool. You know, I ain't gonna say it's whack. It's just a different perspective. Dude, that, that's know, that's not an eight boogie special. Yeah, it's it's not it's not what we wear on the East Coast. That's yeah, not our style. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's not dissing him. And oh what yeah. He is. You know, obviously he can get fly, super fly. He's Devin Booker. That's yes, right. Um, I just think that's a very West Coast. You know what I mean? Type of vibe. So I can't really rate this one because it's like it just. I could just say yo, that ain't the same. Like look, I would go, go for. It. for it. Okay. I'll be with that. Uh, who we got next? We got uh, uh, Donovan Mitchell. Oh, that, that, there we go. That is uh, of the Utah Jazz. Like, got a concert blocker with that yellow and white sweater with the leather pants. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, like you got Air Max on his feet, look like from where I'm looking at. Oh, like yeah, yellow yeah, yeah, yeah. Original uh, of the yellow boys. Yeah. With the Louis Vuitton grooming bag. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Would you, what, what, you, what you rating that fit? That's, that's an A Boogie special. Um, I could pull that off. You, you, know, you could pull could that? definitely pull that off. Yeah. <laughs> um, the Blanca Blanca with the leather. Uh, I don't know if I would have went with those sneaks, but... Okay. What, so, what, what's Boogie putting on the feet with something like that, then? Oh, uh, man. I might go something chill, something... I might go to uh, you know the off white four cream box. Okay. You know okay. I mean? Just to just to set my my blanca blanca off. <laughs> you know? Set him off. Okay. Just to set the blanca blanca okay. off. I ain't gotta go yellow and try and match her. That's just me though. That's my style. I can't get yellow. Yeah, with with much. all the same color. Yeah, can't I agree. Get too much of my sauce. <laughs> can't get too much of that. Man. All right, so we we about to take a little bit of a turn. Uh, we got here. Who is this? Okay. Got Kelly Oubre from the, I don't know where he at. Now. Oh, he's in Charlotte, Charlotte right now. There. Yeah, he's back. He's in Charlotte now. Kelly Oubre has always been unique, man. I do like the sneaker and the pant combo. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Even the shirt, you know, I've done the shirt tucked in. Like that's a good, you know, vibe. It might be, it might be, you know. Oh man, why you got me analyzing <laughs> these dudes? And, it's, bro, it's, listen, it's a bro. Cool outfit, yeah, I'm about to say it's it. Cool it is what it is, oh, man. man. Like, we, it's just it's just outfits, baby. Like you said, right, it's, it ain't it ain't, ain't everybody style. Like I said, I can I can I, you can take pieces from. It. I can honestly tell you. Overall, no, I'm cool. I I ain't rocking it. But like you said, obviously the sneakers, yup, is a is a go. The pants, pants is a go. The shirt tucked in. My biggest thing is probably the the cardigan for real. Mm-hmm. The the sweater for me is probably the one thing I ain't really. Uh, going bangers. If I had to read it for sure, overall, I'd probably get that joint like a 
I get seven. Like I said, because it's parts of it I, I bang with, but like not, not, not everything. I think the the cardigan for me is what throws it all for me for so sure. The green cardigan. <laughs> yeah, man, I, I'm out of the, the cardi phase. I can't do no cardigan. <laughs> uh, who we got here? Oh, this this is one of my favorite just guys. I ain't gonna lie. In in the league. We got Jordan Clarkson of the Utah Jazz as well. Oh, man, you he, know he's fine. Man, he, man he, listen, I ain't going to lie. That's one of the guys. Yeah, putting pieces together. To, yeah, man. Like, what would you think? Obviously. This one of his more children. Ch- exactly. And that's right. what I said. I was surprised that this is what he went with. Trust me. I've seen a lot of pictures, but I ain't want to. Throw too many like crazy joints at you. This is a ten. This is a ten. This, for sure. I rock this. this for sure. Easy. And, and like you say, he got versatility. Like you say, you he can hit you with some crazy stuff, but then at the same time, hit you with something like this that's chill. That's like, oh yeah, I got something for everybody for sure. So mm-hmm. I definitely, I definitely rock with it. That's definitely a ten as well for sure. Uh, we only got a couple more here. We got two more. All right, we get a little crazy. You already know who next. Mr. Mr. L.A. himself, not LeBron, though. <laughs> we oh, got man. Russ. Russ. <laughs> we Russ. we got Russ. Yeah, you know Russ is unique, man. I, but I can't wear that. I can't. I wouldn't wear that. At all. I mean, that joint is a vibe once you're in L.A., like, but you have to be comfortable in your skin in L.A. Yes, yeah. To yeah. pull that off. Now, the, 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 the sneaks, I, I, I definitely can rock with for sure, though. I'm I pretty sure they like. I ain't worried. They're like they like pink forces if, I, if I'm looking at it correct. Either way, the color for me though, in general though, I, I bang. I like I like the color sneaks overall for sure. The sweater, it's a no go for me, gotcha. and, and it's, it's too much neck. Like that's, that's too, what, much. <laughs> too much, right. too much neck and shoulder coming out of that mm-hmm. joint for me. And I ain't I ain't really a bad guy like that. So I mean, it's, it's some better joints I've seen Russ with, but this one particularly that yeah, ain't my. Man. uh he he's done some very unique things throughout his walk down the hallway days. Man, listen. Well, go ahead. Yeah, I'll sir. Wait. We got one more. Uh, come back to Philly. Uh, uh, James Harden, man. James Harden. Yeah, that's that's a. I can rock with th- this though. I can rock with this, bro. I'm like, not mad at it. I I seen it. I had to just stare at it for a second. Then I was like. Actually, I actually like bang with this joint a little bit. Yeah, this at all. Yeah, you know like that's believe it or not. To me, I feel like that's mad chill as well though. Like right. you just like you said, you just got a, a, a fur on some um, some khaki um, um, uh, a tan pants mm-hmm. on. Obviously, you got the the accent with the pink in it. Obviously, to match the the coat and everything like that. The sneakers they fling. Like I I can bang with it for sure though. Like, I I ain't mad at this joint at all. Like right. I, I I bang with this this lay. For sure, right. man. Even the coat, the coat got style to it. Exactly. You know, the chrome hard pants is a yep. variation. Yeah. It's the new, it's a new collab that they dropped. So okay. Um, definitely, definitely. Hey man, I, I, I'm, I'm, listen, I listen. I thank you for playing. <laughs> it's like no, <nah. laughs> no, nah, but that, 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 you know the NBA man in this fashion for sure. Uh, that's why I like even on this platform that that I'm using right mm-hmm. here. Like I, I want to touch. All that essentially. That's right. why someone, someone like you is here. Like, like you said, you are you play a part, and you're in the in the NBA world, and right. play a part in it that that has been integrated into the game. Essentially, right. like you said, even starting with AI when it came with the with the braids and the baggy clothes, the right, music right, right. started coming into it. You know, every every uh, professional athlete want to be a rapper nowadays. Mm-hmm. Essentially, mm-hmm. like that. So, <laughs> no. Nah, but uh, like I said, time's getting short, man. I ain't gonna keep you much longer. I just got one more little question Go for ahead. you, man. I ask this for everybody uh, before we leave the show. Uh, doesn't matter what sport it is, but if you have front row tickets, mm-hmm. court side, uh, sideline, ring side, whatever it is, if you have front row tickets to any sports event in history, mm-hmm. what what uh, what sports event would that be? That uh, first game where AI played. <laughs> yeah, like yo, you're the second football. person that said that. Like that's that, that's, that's kind of that crazy. Game, I need to be at that game. You need we, to be there. We won that yeah. first game. You can tell me the, we won. The Talu step the over. Yeah. I thought we was getting the chip, man. I thought it was done. I, I ran down the street that day when I was uh, at that job. I, man, we won that first game. You couldn't tell. Yeah. You couldn't tell me we you wasn't winning the fire, championship, man. bro. I the championship you, what? Was ours. And then we proceeded to lose every game after then that. But it's cool. And Shaq was back. still in his prime yeah. at that. Yes. Oh yeah, it was. It was bad. AI, he gave us one like he was supposed to. 
But after that, we couldn't, we couldn't game. handle it. We <laughs> couldn't handle it. I you. Nah, man. But I appreciate you, man, stepping in the gym with me right now. Again, man, we here with DJ A Boogie, man. Just an awesome friend, awesome guy, man. Make sure you follow him on all social media, man. DJ A Boogie. Um, like you say, you got everything you need when it comes to music, DJ events, touring, uh, like you say, he d does do things with the NBA and uh, Team Hennessy and everything. Mm -hmm. Make sure y'all follow him, uh, check him out, and everything that he's got going on. Uh, anything you're going to say, anything promote uh, that you got coming nah, up, man, going out the door, know, man. Make sure y'all check out my boy, Only One AB. Yes, Support sir. the, you know what I mean, Open Gym Podcast, and, and this is what we on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Stop. Yes, sir, man. You already know, man, this is the Open Gym Podcast, man. Until we meet again, everybody. Yes, sir. Talk, shooting shots, they just want me to fake. But my game made when I'm getting buckets today. Crossover, pull up, bet you fall for the hezzy. Game seven, prime time is butterflies on your belly. Now, can you do it? Folding under the pressure, boy, can you do it? If you going, show them who better. Don't let the game slip and don't get caught in the lights. Crown me, yeah, Jordan taking off on the Baby, flight. Baby, give me the rings right now, we the champions. We the champions, I do my thing right now and it can't be done They said it can't be done, give me all the rings right now, we the champions